common line of reasoning is that the round or spherical Earth theory is propagated by some conspiracy. And the number of people who think so is growing. You may think it sounds crazy, but in 2017, thousands, if not millions of people still believe the world is flat. Now, scientists say that's actually a symptom of a bigger problem, and it's the subject of tonight's special report. WCIA3's Aaron Eads is here with us now. And Aaron, as far as conspiracy theories go, flat earth theory is actually getting pretty popular. Yeah, believe it or not, in 2017, the number of people who believe the earth is flat is actually growing. Scientists might have an idea of why that is, and it's worth talking about. And what better place to do so than one of the flattest places in the country right here in central Illinois. It doesn't get much flatter than this. Geological survey data shows Douglas County is the flattest county in Illinois, which is the second flattest state in the whole country. On a clear day, it seems like you can see forever, but you can't. Through the eyes of a person of an average height, the horizon is about three miles away, but that's it. You can go up higher to see a greater distance, but you'll never be able to see the whole world no matter how high you get. But there are ideas that this is a sham. The idea spiked recently. Leslie Looney is the chair of the U of I's astronomy department. <laughs> I'm very qualified to say the Earth is round. He's also qualified to be concerned okay. anyone would think otherwise. There's the idea that when you drive from California to Florida or whatever, you don't see or feel a curvature of the Earth. And that's why Looney says we've got a problem. For some reason, people are against science lately, and that's beginning to show with Ill illiterate ideas of flat Earth. More than 100,000 people follow the Flat Earth Society on Facebook. Over the last three years, Google searches for Flat Earth have, at points, spiked to 1,000% more than what used to be normal. People in the United States are leading the way with the most searches. But don't take Google's word for it. You can follow the trend online. We have NASA orbiting around the planet where we have GPS working to tell us exactly where we are, which requires it to be round. It's very upsetting for a professor of astronomy to have people think still in today's world that it's flat. But how? The Flat Earth Society's website has an FAQ page. First question, are you serious? Yes, they are. And they say the proof is readily apparent. NASA, a fraudulent organization bent on siphoning your tax dollars. The moon landing didn't happen. It's almost like there's a logic virus. Greg Whitlock directs Parkland College's philosophy program and teaches logic classes. He says the conspiracy catalyst is something you probably already spend too much time on. Social media sets up an atmosphere where you're only listening to and talking to people who have the same belief. It really is these the recent rappers and basketball players making comments on Twitter, and it's part of this mood that science is wrong or bad. Both professors agree the root issue is science denial. People in large numbers asserting alternate truths, even if their argument falls flat. Flatter than Douglas County. It just requires an open mind and thinking about these things in a clear scientific way and leaving emotions out of it. The biggest concern with the Flat Earth movement is how fast it's gaining steam. To leave you with a scary thought this Halloween night, scientists are worried that Flat Earth could become a political issue like climate change, vaccination, or evolution. Guys. All right. Fascinating stuff. All right, Aaron, thank you. Very interesting. All right. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. So we're talking science stuff. Yeah. Weather is science. We do it every night. We do it every night here at about the same time. <laughs> Talk about that round globe and the weather that goes on around it every night. It's <laughs> <laughs>